Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the chain maintenance. I'm going to clean the chain up. That's the chain right there. So we're going to see if we can get it nice and clean. It almost looks rusted. So this is what I was thinking. If it doesn't get clean or if it needs to be replaced, that's going to be the next thing on the list to do is to replace the chain. So I'm all set up. I'm going to get started. So I'm sure... From the last owners, the chain's never been cleaned before. Hopefully I'm able to save the chain or something. So I'm going to spray the Maximo Racing Oil, the cleanup chain cleaner. So we'll see how that works. So it looks like it's cleaning it. So you want to spray the whole chain first. And then with your soft brush, you just get in there and scrub it. So yeah, it, you can tell already the difference. I thought it was getting rusted, but it looks like it's really cleaning itself. So you can see. It is coming off. Let's see right here. So it still needs a little bit more spring. So with the rag, we're gonna try to dry it. You don't want to do the spray the wax on there yet until you dry it off first. Oh yeah. So it looks like it's coming back to life. So yeah. We'll who knows who, whoever had it last from the previous owner if they ever cleaned up the chain and it looked like it never was clean same thing goes for the brake fluid if you guys check out my old videos when I flushed the brake fluid it was overdue and simple maintenance you guys can do your bike will last a long time it's coming out good So I'm gonna repeat the process right now. Yeah, sorry we've been we haven't been posting or riding the the rain kinda hit us here for like a whole week. But yeah, I'm liking the results. This is the spray that I'm using the chain cleaner. And then I also have the the chain wax or the chain lube that they call it. This is the setup of a cardboard. I want to get it on. So see the dirt. I'm going to put it on the bike stand. Don't mind the cooler. This is where I put the camera. Make sure you dry it all up around the tire. We're going to ride the bike right away so you won't have an accident. You don't want this to make your tire slip and you slide off on the road or something. So make sure you dry it after you're done. I'm going to try to clean the sprocket a different way try to get in there somehow it's, I'm trying to get to the little sprocket teeth there you guys can see the sprocket teeth in there so we'll see how I do that and it's pretty dark kind of want to leave it for tomorrow so that's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward First time that you um, spray the the chain cleaner, it automatically just degreases the chain right away. And you can tell the difference right away. Let's see. So I'm putting the brush in there just to get the sprockets, the teeth. 
make sure you don't spin the wheel forward because it might grab your um your hand or the brush or anything so don't go forward like that because you'll get anything stuck in there make sure you go out so that's pretty much it tomorrow we'll leave the the lubing part shiny it gets after you start drying it pretty much it the sun's going down there's a lot of background noise but check out the difference so we'll finish this off tomorrow Thanks. all right guys so we're back to finishing the, the chain cleaning I didn't want to rush it yesterday so today we're gonna get it all finished it looks like it's pretty much done We'll go ahead and give it another clean with the chain cleaner before I lube it. So it's the same process pretty much. So I was waiting for the perfect time to do this. I should have done it earlier. It was hotter but there was no noise, was no background noise. The neighbors or my dog barking. Now that I decided to do it, there's a bunch of background noise. I guess we gotta live with it. <laughs> so I'm pretty satisfied. It got clean. I was almost thinking that it was gonna need a new chain. So I'm gonna keep a good eye on it. So whatever you do, just do it while the bike's turned off. Don't try to do it faster by having it on. That's an accident waiting to happen. Try to clean it faster that way. You just injure yourself. So now we're gonna clean it up. We're going to let it dry before we lube it up as well. So if you guys are liking the DIYs, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. So I can bring more DIY videos for you guys. So that's pretty much done. I'm just going to keep on drying it with the rag and we'll lube it up right now. So look, you can actually tell the color of the chain now. So I could have done that all yesterday, but it was just too much background noise. So now what you want to do is just make sure you dry it, get all that extra um, cleaning solution on off of the sprocket and the chain before you lube it up with the chain wax. So like I was saying before, it looked like the first owner wasn't taking care of the chain. You at least want to clean it every 500 miles or so, just keep an eye on it. When you can't really see the chain color and you're really riding more maybe you're probably gonna have to clean it more often than 500 miles but let's just keep an eye on the chain as well you don't want to let it rust or anything so maybe i'm gonna upgrade the sprocket and the chain to the vortex brand maybe in the future if i still have the bike i'm thinking about doing that few things I want to do to the bike so that's pretty much it it's nice and dry I'm still gonna go around a little bit more so 
I'm gonna let it sit for like a few minutes before I spray the the chain wax. So I'm gonna make sure all the chain cleaners out. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna get dirty pretty soon. But just keep an eye on your chain, like I was saying. You don't want to let it rust or anything like that. Because a quick, easy maintenance saves you a bunch of money from replacing the chain. If the chain that you have now, you could have just easily cleaned it. It'll last you a while longer. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to let it dry up before I spray the wax. Pretty much it, that's all I'm gonna clean it for. So you'll guys see before and after how dirty the chain was. So now I'm gonna let it dry and I'll spray the chain the chain wax. Also one thing I wanted to point out, inspection the chain as well. Obviously we did that earlier and the sprockets. Because if you feel like you're gonna need to replace it, there's no point. And uh, even cleaning the chain. The chain's not too loose and not too tight. So there's just different points that you gotta check. So make sure it kind of hits here on the on the side, um, on the swing arm here, the swing arm. Make sure it hits there or it barely hits. So it's gonna be different points of the chain, but always ins inspection the chain and the sprocket. Seems like the teeth are still good, they're not too thin to the point where they break. So it looks like there's 90% like clean. But it looks way better than how it was. I almost thought the chain wasn't going to be any good. But with the nice and cleaned chain and then some good um, wax on there should be fine. So I'm going to spray the wax. And then the direction says um, spray it within the chain. Then spray it out. I'm using the Max Chain Wax Chain Lube. So I'll be spraying that. And I was telling you guys just spray it in here. Just so I could get the O-rings. And that's pretty much it. So let me spray that really quick. And it comes out like this orange color. Be pretty much good to go after this. So, if you, so before you even ride it, just wait like 15 minutes before you ride it, so so the wax can like settle in. So it gives it like this gold orange color on the chain. So make sure you got it all nice and waxed. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wait a little bit to let dry. So I'll probably just dry with the little rag, just all that extra wax that's um, spilling. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you do your uh, chain maintenance. Uh, give it to like five to 300 um, miles before you clean it. Keep an eye on it. Let me know if you guys got comments. Comment down below with your questions, comments or concerns. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.